All right. Hello. I'm going to go over my elevator controller algorithms. First, I'll start with the residential controller, and then I'll move on to the commercial controller right after. So to start off, a user would press the button requesting an elevator from outside, either the up or down button, and that will be stored in a log. And this will also call the choose elevator method, which will choose the elevator, the best elevator to send. It will add this floor to the list of floors requesting an elevator, and it will call the move elevator function. So first, the elevator that's chosen is depending on if it is idle or not, how close it is, and if it's moving, if the direction that it's moving is the same direction as the floor requesting the elevator. So once that's determined, uh, the elevator will then move to said floor requesting the elevator. It will stop, the user will get in, and the user will choose what floor they want. Once they do that, the floor they pick will be added to the floor list, and the move elevator will be called again. Elevator will move to said floor and proceed to drop them off and the whole kind of thing repeats. And for the commercial, it's not that different. However, the only difference is there's a battery object now and this battery controls the amount of columns there are. It has how many columns there are, uh, how many floors there are per column. This is also based off of if there are basements or not. It's going to equally divvy out how many floors there are per column, even with a basement. It will set the min and max floor of each column, and it can even deal with if there are still floors left over. And that is about it. That's really the only difference for commercial. So it's all pretty similar. They all do the same thing. All of the methods and functions here are are all variable, so they're not hard-coded. You can put in any value, any scenario, and it should still give you the same results. And that's it.